Hello everyone. Today I'm going over um, a box of things I received in the mail recently. Uh, just to show what I got in case anybody is interested in that kind of thing. I bought a few cool things. Um, on the top here, it looks like we got this little Lilligant plush. And it is a, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like a Bon Presto plush. Uh, it's got Japanese on it, so I'm assuming it's from the Japanese Pokemon Center. I didn't actually buy this one. Uh, they gave it to me for free for buying all the other stuff that I, I got. Um, I got to choose among a number of items. And I was torn between a Bulbasaur pencil sharpener or this little plush. And I thought, well, I don't have very many plush um, so far, so I got this one. And I like this little cute crown on its head. And you can put its little leaf up here and it make it look like it's touching its mouth. Oh, it's not staying, but it's pretty cute. And then I got quite a few things in here. Yeah, this really cool, um, big Charmander figure. Uh, copyright is a little worn on here, so I don't know what it is exactly. Is it a Tomy? Oh, I know this, it's old. Uh, you can move his head, and that's about it. But I like the size of it. He's a really good size. Um, here he is next to a Pokemon card. So, his... Really cute, I love Charmander. Um, as you can see back here, well I can't see it now, but. It's really similar to this talking Charmander thing I've got here. In size. I think that's just a great size for figures. Because you can really, they really stand out wherever you put them. This one is a bit more better quality as far as the paint goes. I like the color on the one on the right more, except for the tail. The yellow is better. But uh, as for the detail, you can see they really got in the lines better on the one on the left. But pretty cool. I love I love Charmander and I love this size figure, so I'm really glad I got that guy. And then I also got, um, I think this is the same brand, same company. We got a Meowth here. He's really tightly taped. Let's see. Okay, this one has the copyright on it. Um, 1998 Tomy. CGTSJ. And it looks like he can move his feet, and his arms, and his head. So that's pretty cute. Oh, and his little tail. There's no brown on the tail tip, which is weird. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have a brown tail. Um, maybe I'm wrong, though. Love the size. Very cute. He's about the same size as the Charmander. Oh, a little bit bigger. Much bigger head. got this uh, boxed Clefairy. It supposedly talks. I don't know if it's ever been opened. Okay, it's got tape on it, so I don't know if it's been opened and then put back in and taped or not. So I have no idea if this works, but I think it was a pretty good price if I remember correctly. So if it works, then cool. Um, I think I got it because it would have was a better price to include all three of these, of these figures. So Clefairy is not my favorite, but it's a cool sculpt and it's boxed and it talks to you, so I thought it would be pretty cool to have. I would have preferred it if it was actually in this little pose here. I think that one's cuter than the pose they actually chose. But it's not bad. And I actually, I actually have a couple of these other talking, boxed talking figures. I got a Pikachu here, 
And I think I've got an Eevee somewhere in a Mew. Um, I don't see them right now. My room is a mess at the moment. But uh, so it's not the exact same one, but it's pretty cool to have these side by side. Pretty similar ones. And the last couple of things I got are um, two Gachapon items. These are so cool, I did not know they existed until I saw that they were for sale. And he, they had almost the full set, but I was being a little on the cheap side. So I only grabbed the two that I wanted the most. And they're little locks, um, like a padlock, I think. And we got a Pikachu here. I'm not sure if I want to open them yet. I think I'm gonna leave him in there, but see he's got um, this little padlock on his head. Okay. The padlock there, and a hole in the bottom, and then you put the key in there, the key in the hole, and it unlocks him. And this is a nice metal key, so. Uh, the Pikachu is really lightweight, but the, the metal is pretty heavy. So I got a Pikachu. Let's look at this in here. All right, so they have a Pokeball, a Master Ball, Diglett, Squirtle, Pikachu, and Chansey. And I think they had all four of these guys. I don't think they had the Master Ball and the Pokeball, the person I bought these from. Um, I kind of regret not buying the full set just because I like to have full sets of things. But um, at the time, I just didn't have the money really. I was already buying a lot of other things. And I'm not really a super big fan of Diglett and Chansey. Although I didn't notice that there was this little nurse hat on Chansey. So that's actually really cute. And then the other one, if you couldn't tell, is the Squirtle. And this is like the Squirtle Squad Squirtle. So he's like really awesome. He has like this cool guy's sunglasses. That's so funny. I like Squirtle, but I might have only just gotten the Pikachu if this guy didn't have his sunglasses on. If it was just a regular Squirtle, I might have passed on him. Um, he's got a little damaged paper here. And then he's got the same, same key as Pikachu. Although, yeah, the tips are the same. I wonder if you could, uh, if this is a universal key, if you could unlock any of these locks with one key. So, maybe not put these on anything valuable. <laughs> Alright, and that'll do it for my mail day video. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time.